Chima. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, friends, and welcome to What If? Episode 69, chapter 69 of Drinking Beer with Matingas. And I haven't done this in what feels like months. I'm pretty sure it's been months. I don't even remember the last time I did this. Uh, so this is weird for me. Uh, first of all, there, there's shit on my desk. That's that's a picture I took from Playas. Uh, I did a giveaway on uh, Instagram. And shit, I'm mistreating the giveaway. Mariana won this. I still gotta give it to her. But if you missed out, follow me on Instagram if you wanna see more of my pictures, blah, blah, blah. And I, I, I've come to realize that my videos are more of a vlog than me just talking about beer. But there's so much that has happened that I, 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 I wanna keep this short. So I'm just gonna like, be like, life been good sometimes, life's been great sometimes, and it's also been shit. October, it's been very, very, very busy in October. I've done more than three tours. October's been good. Uh, I hope that shit continues this way because like always I'm fucking broke, but things keep getting better, I think. And now to the beer portion of the show. Um, there's a shit ton of beer in front of me, but these are empty. And all this beer comes from my friend Kevin, a patron. If you want to be a patron like Kevin, it'd be fucking awesome because seriously, he gave me all this beer and he's still a supporter on Patreon. Like he's just a fucking great guy to support me in uh, like no other way. So uh, Kevin, thank you. I said I was gonna drink a lot of them on camera, but uh, I had people over, I've had my girlfriend over, I had my cousin over, and I didn't have any other beer in the fridge. I was like, okay, let's open a few of this. Um, I had this one uh, by myself yesterday. Uh, it was a standard, uh, good, styled, uh, Czech style lager, uh, was it from Bonero Brewing, uh, all of this come from New Mexico, I think. They've all been, uh, in the great part and in the good part, and there's only been a bad one, and this, this is this one, uh, Santa Fe Brewing, Pepe Loco, Mexican style lager, the can was dented, so the dented can made the flattest beer, and I think that's why it was bad. This was the only bad one. This was on the good side, not on the great side. Um, Hazy IPA, Bon Arrow, some company. Great, Hazy's are everywhere now. It was on the on the great hoppy side, uh, but uh, nothing that I've never had on a Hazy beer. Uh, I remember being like, nice and Hazy. Um, shit, I thought I was gonna remember all of these, and I, I don't even remember anything. But I again, I remember all of them being, um, up in the grade and better than all right. Uh, bow and arrow, there's a bunch of bow and arrows. So bow and arrow, there's another hazy from bow and arrow. It was almost memorable like that. Uh, that. This one was really good. I remember this one. See, that's on the great category. Shit, I'm very, very, very. Uh, bow and arrow brewing company from uh, Santa Fe. From New Mexico, I don't even know Santa Fe. Fucking shit. Albuquerque, my bad. Blue Corn Lager, uh, old American Pilsner. This one, I remember it being fucking good. So, uh, this one, for sure. <laughs> Fuck, man, I'm a mess. Another Bow and Arrow. So, Bow and Arrow uh, must be one of Kevin's favorite. And I don't remember much of this one. Mexican style uh, Dark Lager, no, I don't remember this one. But it had to be on the good side because all of the Bow and Arrows have been more than on that, more than that good than great. Um, this one I remember being good, and I have another one, so I can just prove it. Um, but not as good as Bow and Arrow. Uh, I appreciate sure Bow and Arrow is uh, my favorite out of all of them. Now, these are not uh, New Mexico beers. Um, these are San Diego beers. And this is all from the, like, the past two weeks, so yeah, uh, and, and I still drank some other beers today, so I drink a shit ton of beer, actually, I was drinking at Mammoth, and I sent a message to the brewer, I'm like, uh, this has mosaic, and he's just like, it has mosaic, how do you know that shit, and he's like, because I drink a shit ton. Uh, I am very smart, put that shit on Reddit. Pure Project, still doing amazing shit, I work there from time to time, not at Pure Project, uh, at a taco truck that like parks inside. Uh, and everything that they've done has been pretty fucking good. So your project continues to do excellent shit. And again, I sometimes I work for these people, uh, not the brewery, but like for a company that it's in there. So I sometimes get free beer. My guess, I've come to realize that their hazies or, or their IPAs in general are not there. 
they're just not. But I've had the lager at the restaurant, uh, and it was really good. I had Hefeweizen, and it was really good. And they have this October Hess, uh, October Fest, uh, Amber Lager, or some Arson beer. Uh, and it's fucking delicious. It's crisp, it's, it's so drinkable, and this one is just like, it actually starts good, and it gets bad. So it's a West Coast IPA that kind of has like this nice pulpy um, taste to it, and it just kind of dies out and starts getting worse and worse uh, during time. And now, fuck shit. My mouth is dry, and I haven't done this forever, but we get to open beers now, and I'm really excited. I'm gonna like start opening the, uh, with this lager, laid back lager, because I need a fucking drink, and this should just be a really good lager. Uh, there was a bunch of laggers mixing with the hazies. Uh, definitely the blue corn tortilla uh, pilsner was uh, my favorite from the bunch, I'm thinking. Uh, the hazies were very good, but to the same uh, standard good that we have in San Diego and that we have in Tijuana, so nothing uh, mind-blowing. And I think hazies and West Coast IPAs are everywhere now, so you had similar before, and wherever you're from, there, there'll be some in your area. This lager, man, craft beer is going on full circle and just being the same thing everywhere. Yeah. I would chug this all the time. Albuquerque, New Mexico since 1994. Canteen brew house. Whenever I'm fucking Albuquerque, New Mexico, if I'm ever there. Um, I'll, I'll drink this, but I'm probably, I'll probably be in Albuquerque at some point. Maybe I'll be doing a tour on my tongue comedy stand-up called So see, it's not very bubbly. I don't know if that is because it didn't survive that trip. It's, uh, I imagine fresher would be better, but it's laid back lager. I mean, no one that doesn't like beer would not, I mean, if you like beer, you like this. It's as simple as that. Also in the fridge, and I'm really excited, Kevin is also a brewer. So he gave me four of his beers, and they're still in the fridge. I'm sorry, Kevin, if they needed to be drank fresh air, I should send you a message. Because they've been sitting in my fridge so I can do them on the show. And it's been, it's so much beer. And I love beer. And thank you for anyone that sends me beer. But finally, I'm going for the red. Sour red ale, sour brown ale, Santa Fe, New Mexico, barrel aged. This, this have to be special beers uh, on the on the list. Discover what the fuck? Uh, I never really had a sour red ale or sour brown ale. I've had a lot of browns. I have a, a lot of reds, a whole of sours. But this this looks special, special, special in a new fucking way. Simple, delicious. Drink them all the time. Uh, it's like a, almost like a go to a show or go to a sporting event beer. Like if, if there's a baseball team in town, I'm pretty sure they serve that because it's just fucking drinkable. But let's get let's get to this. Tomo Root Brewery, Brewery and Distillery. Aged in New Mexico red wine barrels. Aged in French red wine barrels. Red ale, brown ale. Label is purple, which if it was a purple ale, it would be even more surprising. Aging in French red wine barrels with uh, bread, retinomyces, Copenhagen, and Lactobacillus Dobrucki. So uh, there, there you have it, friends. That's like the whole description on the, on the side. Uh, I'm going to keep this in my fridge. I'm going to drink it with my girlfriend. And she's going to be blown away. This is a higher alcohol one, 7.9. Uh, I'm super excited about this. Sometimes in my show, when I'm excited for a beer, it turns out to be disappointing. Really doubt that this will be disappointing. They look just amazing. It's a nice bottle, it's a nice label, it's a nice sounding brand. This is the first time I actually look at them. Oh. They've been in my fridge, so I obviously seen them. But I mean, look at them. I've never read that description until now. And same with this one. H in New Mexico red wine barrels instead of the French uh, wine barrels, so it's pretty much the same, except there's a red L, the other one's a brown L, and uh, this French 
wine barrels, and this is red. I mean, uh, New Mexico. By Tumble, Ro uh, tum Tumble Root, holy shit, my English gets better when I'm high on camera. Uh, Tumble Root Brewing LLC, Bis Bisbee Court Unit 3 4 Santa Fe. So, this is said like a gar not garage, but like a fucking. From the sound of it, just like a, a warehouse. My trusty lighter to open this fucker. Didn't pop as nicely as I would. Oh, it, it, it is on the brownish red. Uh, look at that, I'm pouring it wrong and it's still pouring beautifully. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. And I'm gonna drink this and uh, tell you what I think before uh, the camera runs out of battery, but... <sighs> Thank you, Kevin, again. I, I, I love exciting new beers. Yeah, that smells like Brett. Not my friend Brett, but like, you know, Breton Nomaisis, uh which is very yeasty, very hay forward. Uh, He has a bunch of smells besides bread. It's almost brown sugary. It's sugary. Oh, wow. Soury? It's not that bready. I thought it was going to be more bready because it smells very bready, but it does have that hay. Uh, taste is more on the sour and it's leaving my teeth feeling funny. And there's a candy to it. It's like um, I think of uh, like a sour candy, but it's covered with like a little bit of uh, sweetness to it. Let me pose with it. Um, Says seven percent alcohol. Uh, if you see my confused face, it's because I'm kind of confused. Uh, it, it's delicious. I'll drink it all the time. <laughs> maybe it's because I, I drink it on camera. Maybe it just didn't survive the journey. Uh, it has a wow factor, but it's not on your face. Like this is gonna be different. Like I can't get any barrel in this. Very drinkable, and I'm surprised by that. Uh, usually when they're this experimental sour red ale on uh, barrel aged, you expect a bunch of in your face flavors. And this has a bunch of flavors, but they're not particularly in your face. It's not very sour, it's... It's, it's delicious, don't get me wrong. Uh, I guess I just expected this like like it was gonna blow my mind and I was just gonna be like, whoa, what a beer. Uh, like some of uh, barrel aged sours I've had before. Uh, this, on the other hand, instead of that, is way more approachable in all levels. So in a way, that's great. Uh, because people that don't like weird beers will like this, even though it's still kind of weird. But it's a tame kind of weird. It does have like a sour bite, it counts down, the bread is not that much in there, and because bread has this, well maybe it's because I've been drinking so many bread beers, and not that many, but I've had bread before, it's not surprising to me to like not have, to, to, to taste bread. But usually bread has much, much more of a yeasty, uh, pukey, uh, hay forward, uh, masticated uh, taste to it that people find gross. And, um, and that's not there. So that's good. Also, the, the, the barrel is not that much there, and the sour is not that much there, but in a way it is. So. Fuck me, I might not even upload this video because I just say stupid bullshit. I'm excited for this one as well. I'm excited to see what my girlfriend thinks because I love talking to her about beer. Um, as far as it goes, I would get it again. Uh, I don't know anything about Tumble Root. 
and I want to have more. And by far, by far, by far, uh, what was it called? Bow and Arrow. Bow and Arrow is really, really, really fucking good because everything I had by them was really fucking good. The rest were on the good level. Uh, Mike Hess is won me back with a little bit of the Marcin, but their IPAs are still. Eh. Uh, Pure Project is still doing everything deliciously, so that was a lot of beers to cover in a, a small chapter. And this gets like zero views. In the meantime, I'm doing TikToks that get like 100,000 views, and it's just me talking about pizza, so. There you have it. Cheers. Cheers, Kevin. Thank you for all the beer. I hope you're not disappointed by this video. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I'm uh, glad to have all this beer. I'm, uh, I'm a happy man with beer running. And chapter 69 of I don't know how many more. But uh, it's a trip to just keep filming stupid shit. And when I die, they might be there. They might not be in, in the world. It doesn't really matter. There's so many dead people. Um, and with that happy note, and with my hair down, I'll say goodbye. I have a photo shoot tomorrow. And I gotta get play video games tonight. So thank you for watching. If whoever is watching... Soon I'll be better, I promise. Peace.